May the force be able to teach us how to use this software. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's me, your boy, Malik, holding it down one more time for Power Director University. Today we're gonna to show you how to do this Star Wars thing in Power Director, so let's jump off into Power Director 14 Ultimate and make it happen. All right, Power Director peeps, here we are in Cyberlink Power Director 14 Ultimate, and it's time for me to show you how to get your Star Wars scroll on, but, before I do that, I want to remind you of a few quick things. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click on that. It tells people that my content is bueno and that other people should watch it. Comments. If you leave me comments, I will give you answers. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction and get you the help that you need. And you got to subscribe if you want to see lovely power director goodness like this on a regular basis. If you don't subscribe, you won't know when I upload a video. Let's get things going, people. All right, the first thing that I want you guys to do is go online somewhere and copy and paste the text for Star Wars into a notepad. If you want to use different text, to just make sure that you do what I'm gonna show you in a second, yeah, which is basically to use the backspace and the enter keys to make sure that your text aligns correctly in the title editor of Power Director. If you don't use your enter or return keys to start a new line, the line's just gonna keep going on and on forever. So what I've done is I've copied and pasted the Star Wars text into this notepad and what I'm gonna do is when I get to a place where I feel I want the text to start over again I'm going to hit the backspace key on my keyboard and then I'm gonna hit the enter or the return key on my keyboard and I'm gonna keep doing that backspace return backspace return I'm just gonna keep doing that until all of my text is where I want it to be. All right, now that I have all of my text set up the way that I want it to be, I'm gonna do Control A to select all, and I'm gonna do Control C to copy it. Now I have this copied into my clipboard, so I'm just going to remove that, and then I'm gonna get started with this title. So first thing we gotta do is make sure that we're in the title room. Once we're in the title room, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drag a 2D title down into track two. And now I'm going to click on modify. Now it should already be under the font type section. If I'm not, just make sure that you're there. And I'm going to click to place my cursor into the title and I'm gonna do Control A to select everything. And I'm gonna do Control V to paste all of the words that I already copied into my clipboard. Now I'm going to place my cursor over this text box until it forms a crosshairs with arrows on the ends. I'm going to left click my mouse, hold it down and drag this up near the top of the visible area, which is black. And that's good right there. Now I'm gonna go down to this alignment tool and I'm going to left click on it and do horizontal center just to make sure that it's right in the middle of everything. Now I'm gonna to go to my font type. 
The font type I'm going to use for this is called Trade Gothic. And I will go ahead and put a link to that font in the description. It's called Trade Gothic LT. I'm going to click on that. Now I'm going to change the color. So I'm going to click on select face color. And I'm just going to type in the parameters. For red, I'm typing 193. For green, I'm typing 193. And for blue, I'm typing 31. And now I will hit enter. And it changes the color of the text. And now I need to get this stretch all the way out. So we got our text in here. We got the color. We just want this, these lines to be at the edges because we want the text to run from side to side or as wide as possible. So I'm going to go down here to object settings. And now under the scale section, you have width and height. And then you have maintain aspect ratio. I'm going to uncheck maintain aspect ratio. And now I want to make this wider. So I'm just going to use this little slider. I'm going to slide it to the right to make this wide. So it almost is at the edge, but not all the way out there. That's pretty good. So now I've got my text wide now got everything set up the way that I want it to be on here. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to add an effect to make it look like the Star Wars scroll. So I'm going to go to my effect tab and I'm going to go to starting effect. And I'm going to scroll down until I find Perspective scroll up. I'm going to click on that. And now you get to see a quick look at what it looks like when you add it. So now I'm done with everything I need to do to this. So if I wanted to save it as a title template that I could go back to and change the wording in whenever I want, I could do save as. And then I could name the template and it would show up under my um, custom titles. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to click on cancel. So right now I'm just going to click on save. Now if I play this, it's going to play kind of fast because the title is a default of like three seconds if I remember correctly. So it's going to play kind of fast. So I want to slow this down. So I'm going to click on the title. I'm going to place my cursor at the end until I see two arrows and I'm going to drag this out. Dragging this out actually makes the title take longer to scroll up the screen. So now if I click on play, you'll see that it scrolls up slower. So if I go back to my media room. I have a star field in here and I will include a link to where I got the star field in the video description. I scroll this little star field down here. Now the title will show over the star field, but the star field is not, you know, long enough and it's not 16 by nine. So first thing I'm going to do is left click here to make it fill out the size of the screen. I'm going to left click here and drag this out. Now it'll fill out the whole screen. And now in order to make sure that it's as long as my title, I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to do copy. I'm going to just place my cursor over here somewhere. I'm going to right click on the timeline and I'm going to do paste. I did paste and insert. It really didn't matter since it was at the end. I'm just going to drag this over. And 
And I'm going to split the end off of here so it's the same length. And then I'm going to remove this. So now if I play this back, you will see the Star Wars scroll in all of its glory. All right, guys, you know the routine, the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it, hug it, show the thumb some love. Comments, leave me comments, I'll give you answers. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help that you need. And last, but definitely not least, subscribe. If you don't subscribe, you'll be missing out on all the power director love I give you guys every time I upload a video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.